let's take a look at number 51. We got R is equal to 3 secant theta. It says find a rectangular form for each of the equations. Now, um, remember we got x is equal to r cosine theta, y is equal to r sine theta, and um, that's probably all we need, but um, we also got r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared, and tangent theta is equal to y over x. Okay, well first off, we don't got a secant, but we know that secant is equal to 1 over cosine, and that puts it toward, more towards what we've seen. So, I'm going to rewrite uh, the secant as 1 over cosine, and we'll leave the 3 on top, so we got uh, this. Now, we're going to multiply both sides by um, cosine, so we got r cosine theta. And then we've got cosine theta times 3 over cosine theta. So we've got r cosine theta, and those cosine thetas cancel. We've got 3. And r cosine theta from over here is equal to x. So we've got x is equal to 3. Now that's pretty strange. I, I can't see these before I start them. But that would imply that our, our graph is this. Let's just graph it and see. It's kind of late at night. I'm old, so <laughs> if I don't go to bed early, then uh, I might make a mistake. So I go to y equals clear. Now I still got my um, trace on from earlier, so let me come over here. Press enter until I get that back to a normal line. There we go. And we got, um, you could do three set. Uh, well, there's no secant, but uh, you could do 3 divided by cosine. And um, graph. Sure enough, there you go. There's your straight line that we're referring to. Um, so x equals 3 would be your answer.